Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of the Boku Cast. I'm your host, your lovable, awesome host, Boku Satsu. Well, you, but you can also call me Aaron, to Aaron as well, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, today on this episode, we're going to talk about a lot of things about my IRL life, how I'm going to join my new job, and Toku. Alright, so okay, let's begin. Okay, let's okay, let's begin. Get out from the room. Let's talk about once and always. I watched this. I watched the special two times. Actually, I have I have the urge to I have an urge to rewatch it for a third time. No lie, but this special felt like Power Rangers. And I mean that. I mean like no no joke. The last time no sorry oh, shit. <laughs> my bad. The last time I was excited for like a piece of Power Ranger media was Dino Charge. And now, around 2015, Power Rangers after that have not been that exciting for me. I mean, like, I was, I mean, like, I was, I was, like, excited when, when the 2017 movie came out back in the day. I saw it with my, I saw it with my mom, my brother, and, well, and my brother's friend. And I really enjoyed it, not gonna lie. <clears throat> Ninja Steel didn't caught my attention. I bought the basic figures, yes. But, uh, Ninja Steel didn't caught my attention. I watched a few episodes, thought, thought the show was boring, but that's just me. And yeah, watch New Ninja. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, moving, moving alongside from that, nothing else in Power Rangers caught my attention. Down Fury wasn't that good, in my opinion. I'm sorry. Down Fury felt, Down Fury ruined Power Rangers for me, you kind of say. Before that, before that, was season two of Beast Morphers, and well, season two of Beast Morphers really was too much fan service, and I didn't like that. Just saying. But this felt like this special felt like felt felt like Power Rangers was missing that type of void in it, and I'm happy that it delivered. Not perfectly, but I'm happy that I'm happy that it delivered. I really did enjoy. Not gonna lie. Because the whole time I was watching, like, God damn it, this special felt like, this special felt like it was PG. <laughs> but yet, this special was TVY7. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's, 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 it's a really good special. Not gonna lie. It's a really good special. For those that are a big fan of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, this special's for you. This special pays homage, pays a lot of homage and references, references to uh, a lot of Power Rangers media, from Dino Thunder, Wild Force, I think Turbo, In Space, Lost Galaxy, Beast Morphers, and yeah, and Ninja Storm, I think. But yeah, but yeah, it pay it pay a lot of homage and references, references to other past Power Rangers shows. Also, I love the fact how, yeah, they kept, they, I love the fact how, yeah, they referenced Jew Ranger by Carl Rita's Palace, Bondora's Palace. I'm like, okay, I got the reference there. Nice. Nice reference to the Sentai. Apparently, apparently, that isn't the only reference they made to Jew Ranger. They referenced Osaka, they referenced Rangers from Osaka, Japan. I'll say that again. They reference Rangers from Osaka, Japan. You know what? You know what? You know what Osaka is, right? It's that. One. I haven't been to Osaka. I want to go down to. I want to go down in the future. No lie. Japan. Japan is on my list of places to go to. But uh, it was ref it was referencing it was referencing Super Sentai. I'm trying to say. <laughs> but uh. I fucking love this special dude. No no lie. Men's arc. Damn. Her arc from her uh No lie. Her arc reminds me of I would say Aoi's arc from Black Sun, but nah. Kinda. Kinda, but nah. But nah. Aoi's arc was more tragic and depressing, which is what which, and heartbroken, which is why, which is why I like that character a lot in Black Sun. Min's arc was basically her 
one revenge on the on the woman, on the rich we can say, but robot rich, rich robot rich that killed her mother. And uh, damn, damn, see, damn, you can really, you can really felt her anger through her acting. Not gonna lie, there were a few moments. There were a few moments in the in the special that I was like, "Damn, man, why is you acting cringe?" But uh, moving alongside for that, her, her actress did a, her actress really did a good job. You could you could feel her pain and anger when when she was trash talking Billy and blaming him for Trini's death. Like, my goodness, you didn't have to, you didn't have to do this to my boy. He tried to save your mom. He did. He tried to. It's not his fault. He's still trying to. He's still trying to recover from what happened. It really did break my heart. Not gonna lie. And then, and then we got Zach. I forgot that. Walter Jones was pretty much. Walter Jones and David Yost carried this special. Same for men as well. But my goodness. Oh my god. My boys are my boys. Fuck. The last time I saw these two was in. The last time I saw these two when Zach left for a press conference and never came back. So, and now we find out that this motherfucker is, is is in congressman. Fuck. He's a politician. I don't like politics, but fuck. But to be fair, he'll be to be fair. He'll be the only politician. He'll be the only politician I'll listen to. Well, to be fair, that well, to be fair, there's also a Hino AJ from uh, there's also also freaking AJ from Olds because he became a politician Zio. And yeah, Zio retcons Olds' show so badly. Ay ay ay. Rest in peace. To, rest in peace to Olds. <laughs> anyway, back on saying yeah. My man Zach is a politician. Is a congressman now. And Billy, fuck. B Billy's basically the Tony. Billy's basically Tony Stark. He got a company, and yet under the company, he had the fucking command center. What the fuck? Hold up, hold up. Damn, Billy. Last time I saw you, it wasn't fucking Zio. And <laughs> damn. So you so you tell so you tell so you're telling me my boy after dating after dating a after dating a Cretion from Akatar Wait 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 fuck so you so, so you tell so you tell me after my boy got a girlfriend from in Ak from Akatar he came back to Earth got got his youth back he matured and now on the company but yet under the company it's a command center fuck. This motherfucker's Tony Stark's last Bruce Wayne. What the hell? I'm just waiting for Billy to say, Fear me. <laughs> nah, he's not Batman. He's not Batman, for fuck's sake. But uh, yeah, though, uh, damn. I never expected them to say the word kill for Power Rangers. Well, to be fair. Well, hey, no, hold on. I, I did. Hold on. This is a. Huh. Move the comics out of the way. I think this is the first time they said the word kill in Power Rangers. Because, oh, oh, crap, it was. It actually was the first time they said kill in Power Rangers. It was cool. It was so cool seeing Catherine and uh, Rocky as well. And for those who want to know, why was Amy, Amy Joe Johnson, Jason David Frake, and also St. John? I haven't explained. On to St. John, well, unfortunately, the man stuck in Texas due to reasons that uh, I think we all know why. Amy Jim Johnson decided, Amy Jim Johnson made it fairly clear that uh, she, uh, she declined, which is fair enough, which is why we got uh, Catherine Sundell. Cat, <laughs> cat. Cat actress, and we also discussed Stephen Card. <laughs> Dance, fuck, Rocky's actor as well for Toronto Red. So yeah, oh for JDF. Well, 
<laughs> I think we all know why. I did. Fuck. This one's too. This one's too emotional to talk about, dude. We we all know what happened to JDF. I'm not gonna bring it up because it's too emotional and sad. Yeah. But anyway, moving aside from that, uh, yeah, this special, this, this this special felt like I was watching MMPR over again. It felt like I was a kid. Not gonna lie, because my goodness, <laughs> it's so cool seeing my boy Rocky gain the love as he des as he deserved. My God, people crap on people shit on Rocky. I love this dork. He's my fav. He's one of my favorite characters in Power Ranger. Red or blue, I love him. I like him more than Jason. Don't at me. Rocky is an underrated character in Power Rangers. Motherfucker, motherfucker was red, even though, even though in Zeal he was blue, and Jason, and Jason was like, okay, so, oh, okay, so you're the guy that get my powers too, and now you're wearing blue, but don't worry, okay, I'm wearing gold, so, haha. I'm like, Jason, shut up. You were you were cool at the Gold Ranger, no lie, but damn, you're not Rocky. Hell, fucking Tommy's better than you. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> might be a hot take, but uh, I actually prefer Jason over Tommy, and MMPR. But that's just that's for a whole different story. Anyway, moving alongside from that, <laughs> moving alongside from that. Uh, this special, damn, uh, I can't say this, okay. This special felt like I was watching MMPR all over again from season one to season three, and it's pretty crazy, not gonna lie. Like, no joke, ain't gonna lie, no cap, this special felt like Power Rangers, and I love that, because I need, okay, I love that because... Again, for me, for me, Power Rangers haven't felt I haven't felt this hype for a Power Rangers show since Dino Charge. Beast Morphin Season One was really good, and that was, and that was, and that was like the last time. In fact, uh, sorry, that was the last time. In fact, after Dino Charge, I said, "Damn, Season One felt like Power Rangers." And I enjoyed Season One. I enjoyed Season One. No lie, I, I watched all of it on Netflix. Enjoyed the hell out of it. Then uh, season two happened, and uh, I got spoiled, unfortunately. Thanks to thanks to the UK, <laughs> thanks to UK Toku fans spoiling on Instagram. I watched it. I'm like, okay, yeah, no, I don't like. I don't like this because I watched the crossover dimension and the grid convention on television when it came out. It was boring. I didn't like it, and I'm not saying this because I'm not a big fan of the Sentai counterpart of Crossover Cut. Man, I hate that. I hate that Curry User and Go Busters movie so badly. <laughs> but, uh, now because Great Connection, Great Connection didn't feel like Power Rangers to me. It just felt like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. A lot of cameos and this and this. Oh, Dr. K's here. Oh, Okay, so the final box is the final boss the whole entire time in Vengex. And yet that red count RPMs ended in my opinion. Well to be fair, Aaron, at the end of RPM we saw Ziggy's Morphin glowing red. Yeah, we did see that. No lie. I remember. I watched RPM. Hell Hell, I, I remember around twenty nineteen before Netflix took it off at Netflix took Power Rangers off of twenty twenty. Ah, oh, god damn it. Fuck. <sighs> Stupid. Just, I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. Actually, actually no, I, I do know what to say. <sighs> Power Rangers haven't felt this impactful to me. Well, that's no. I will still be a big fan of Power Rangers. Hell. When they were get, when the day when I have kids, I want to show them. I want to show them my childhood on all the shows that I love, all my all my things, all the things that I enjoy. No lie, I do. 
Power Rangers will always be one of those for me. I grew up watching the show as a kid, beginning the original episodes on Mighty Morphin on, well, <laughs> Jet X, we can say, slash 2 Disney. Oh, memories. And uh, here we are now. This special was, this, this, this special felt, damn, this special felt really good. Min, Min basically, Min was basically going through a vengeance arc until Zack said, listen, I know, listen, listen, everyone know how you feel, okay? Including Billy, he, he lost his best friend. Please give him the respect that he deserves. He tried, he tried his hardest. Jack, Zack really felt like a father figure, no lie. Fuck, motherfuckers up there for goat father figure with Cultural from Black Sun and fucking Piccolo? <laughs> but I mean, yeah, Piccolo's the father figure, technically, you can say. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Fuck. But uh yeah, but I can't lie for saying this. After we watch this special, I'm tempted to go pre order all the remastered figure. I already pre ordered Jason and Tommy, unfortunately. I have Kim on my big on my cart in my cart on Big Bad Toy Store. <laughs> I'm going out of town in September and uh, I'm praying that uh I find the remastered training Billy in stores or or in person, because if I do, I guarantee you I will. So once that happens, I'm buying those two. And don't worry, I will do reviews for those figures. Because, my goodness, this special really tempted me to go buy them all. And damn it, I fucking do. I'm going to do it. I hate this shit. It's funny though, I said to myself, you know, oh, I said to myself, oh, okay, that, okay, that looks pretty cool. I mean, Master MPR Blue. Well, good thing I don't need it. I'm sick, I'm, I'm sick of my original one. Meanwhile, the ones you always special c fucking tempted me to go buy all of them. <laughs> and I'm tempted now to go buy Sneezar, but no, that figure ha that figure has issues, so I'm gonna wait. I I already have a uh, Minotaur in pre order. Hey, don't at me. Don't at me. Okay. <laughs> I already have Minotaur on pre order, so I'm good. <laughs> Rugged Rita, the, the new Rita? Probably. I do, I do, I do like the face sculpts. They do look like they do look like her uh, Japanese actress. Wait, why do you say Japanese? Because I say Japanese mostly due to the fact that uh, mostly due to the fact that all the all the footage from all the Jap all the footage from Rita from her palace all Sentai footage from Jew Ranger, which is why I say that. Well, to fair, I, to fair, I think, to fair, I think we all knew that, but yeah. But yeah. I will, I will, I'm tempted to get, I'm tempted to get that, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Speaking of figures just came out, you guys know Tamashi just released the, the human, well, the figures are on pre-order, but I will get them eventually. But not now. I'm gonna wait. Till, I'm gonna wait till I get more money in my account. I'm trying to save right now because I've got like an army, army or monthly order to get next week. But uh, Tamashi just revealed the civilian form for Nomiko and uh, Kotaro from Black Sun. I want them. No lie. I, I will get them. Relax. I will get them. I will get them. I'm gonna wait until like. Until I take care of all my pre-orders to load the, so my plan is this. But before I go pre-order them, I want to I want to take care of all my other pre-orders, all my other pre-orders for the around this summer. Come on, see. Oh yeah, by the way, by the way, it's officially day one summer, for me recording this and uh, before be you know yeah that's fun, <laughs> but yeah I want I want I want I want all my pre-orders to come through this summer first. Then uh, after that. Once all my pre-orders are done for the summer, I will go pre-order them. 
So yeah. <laughs> because boy oh boy, June's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> What's coming what happened in June? I got like five I think I like I think I, I think I got like five things on pre order for June. I have the SA figure arts trunks, the, the new trunks on pre order on Big Bad. The Lightning Collection, Lost Galaxy Yellow, and SPD Yellow. And that's it. And that's going to be fun to <laughs> take care of. Well, it's a good thing I'm working on a brand new job that's helping me. Like, no talk, no light, no joke. This new job. Okay, so. I've been working I've been working my new job for three days now. And my goodness, holy crap. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Like, no joke. I'm I'm enjoying it. I feel more relaxed, more calm, and not stressful. And I'm not I'm not like, I'm not like having like I'm also not like having like any uh, dark moments. Cause at my old job, I've been I had like a lot of not a good I I had like, I had like a lot of dark moments in myself in there that was just feeling like feeling like I was I wasn't I wasn't in my best state working. I can say I wasn't. I wasn't having fun. I won't, I don't know. I don't really know why I'm here. Anymore. I don't know why I'm even here because this place like this place like a lot of new people every day. In the summer, in the summer it's beginning too. When I left, I said to myself, "Why am I even here? I don't need to be here anymore since it's since it's breaking like a lot of new people." And well, all my friends left. Everyone. Everyone I knew for the last past two years left. It's time for me to leave too. And well, I did. That place was not. That place did not treat me. My old job did not treat me. Not treat me right, unfortunately. But but but, but my new job, dude. Dude, holy crap! Okay, first off, let me say, three days work at my new job. I've been having the best time of my life. So you guys, so I don't know, I don't know you guys don't know this, but my last job, I couldn't get a fucking break. So what I mean by that is that I don't get lunch breaks at my old job since I was working like, let's say five hours. I would take it with one, but uh, ever since twenty, but when I'm like twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two, they lower my hours at my old job. And uh. I, th I don't get a fucking lunch break at my old job. They wouldn't let me have one because then I'm working five hours. And I said, really? I don't know. That, does, that doesn't seem right. That seems unfair and bullcrap. My new job. I get a fucking lunch break. For f I get a fucking lunch break. Working like... <laughs> working like to the morning shift. To the afternoon shift, I get a fucking lunch break. For tr and my goodness, that lunch break is sad. If I could do after do relaxing, relaxing while eating and looking on my phone, seeing what's going on, it's, it's so good. Like no joke, no joke. Today I was on my lunch break eating, while while scrolling through Twitter. I was like, damn it, this is so satisfying. Cause it fucking is. It fucking is satisfying. It's damn it though. Why is it so satisfying? This is so fucking satisfying though. Not just that, but but my pro, but uh, but the coworkers I work with now. I, 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 nah, sorry, the coworkers at my new job I work at. They're so nice. They're nice people. I talk to them. They're funny too. Not gonna lie. Hang. Talking to three days, I felt like I already know them already, and that's really good. <sighs> so I want to say this: a little update video. I want to say I was waiting for I was waiting to say this in an update video, but I'll say it here. Due to the fact that I'm now working again at a, at, I'm down work, I'm not working again. Like technically, you could say like full time at a, at a new job. Well, kind of, but take same. I'm taking since I'm taking working now at, at a new job. Videos, figure reviews mostly. Podcast episodes will still be still be the exact same, but figure reviews will happen on Sunday now instead of Saturday. But why? I work Monday to Saturday, all week. 
all week <laughs> from now on. So yeah, that does affect, that will affect my, uh, my video, my videos. But don't worry, but don't worry. Don't worry. Podcast episodes are going to be the exact same, but for now on, every, every new, like, every new video going to come out on Sunday instead of, uh, well, Saturday. <laughs> Who knows? There may be some time that a new video will come out on Saturday. But yeah. I just want to tell I just want to tell you guys this before. <laughs> I just want to tell you guys this before uh before the episode comes out. But yeah, every new figure review will come out on Sunday now instead of Saturday due to me working. So so that will, that will affect it, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, besides that, besides that, ooh. oh, wait, hold on. What the hell is this? Sorry about that. I just felt something on my hand. Weird. But besides that, everything else, everything else for my channel will be the same. So, but yeah. But now what? Every new figure review is gonna come out on Sunday instead of Saturday. Due to me not working. Due to me not working for month. Due to me not working at my new job. Because again, I work, I work, I work, again, I, I work like twenty hours at my new job every day, so I work to a month. So I, I work, I work Monday, I work Monday through Saturday at my new job. <laughs> you know, well, all that money, all that money, boy, could be helping me. That's for sure. Moving alongside from that, M moving alongside from that, yeah. That will, uh, that will, that, sorry, that will be a thing, but yeah, this new job is really nice, oh, I'm, day three there, a lot of new, I met a lot of new people, well, my new co-workers, I, well, the co-workers, I, yeah, my new co-workers I, I work with are really nice, they seem like relaxed, so enjoyable family, and it's gonna be crazy down there for sure, but hey, I'll take it. Way better than my old job. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, though it's uh it's really relaxing down there. I'm not gonna lie. I have <laughs> and I like that. Again, I feel more relaxed, more calm, and more at peace now because it's less it's like less crowded, less crowded. <clears throat> it's like less crowded. You know, it's not like not it's not like it's not like my old job that uh. That I'll feel like I'm being crammed in there every day, and I'm just I couldn't handle that anymore. Which is why, which is why I uh I left. One of the reasons why I left, but yeah. But yeah, that's going on. Yeah, that's going on with my IRL life. Pocket episode was pocket episode will be the exact same. Figure reviews will be on Sunday, so <laughs> yeah. Speaking of figure review. Tomorrow, figure review is gonna be on Bill Genius, and don't worry, I real don't worry, I won't add like the My Hero music. Oh, speaking of My Hero, so I only I don't think I know that, but I want to say this. Thank you guys for the, thank you guys for the love, love. Thank you guys for the, uh, thank you guys for the, uh, love and support on my Grand Zeal video because, my goodness. That video. <sighs> so, for those who know what happened, when I uploaded the video, I was. When I was done editing the video, I was getting ready to. When I was done up, uploading the video, I get an email. We can say from YouTube saying that my video, my video was copyright claim. Don't worry, it was a false one. Why was copyright claim? Apparently, the. Song I use the music I use for my 
for the select for the section of my video that I show that I show the figures and pictures where I show the where I show the pick the figure and pictures. It was copyright claim because the song I was using was an instrumental. Instrumental, it said. But here's the thing, it wasn't. I had to use the 8-bit cover of the song to avoid copyright issues, which helped me in the past many times. And, uh, apparently, I'm going to guess YouTube bot didn't recognize that. So I sent a dispute in, and by the, because of that, the, by the way, FYI, the dispute is, I have not... The dispute is still working, it looks like, because damn you two bots, you guys are stupid as hell. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to jinx anything right now, because I really want this, this claim to fuck off. But damn, this, this just proves how stupid YouTube is. So I made a treat, saying, saying guys, this, say guys, please support and watch this video. It got copyright claim, and I hope, and I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, and when, when that, when I made that treat. The fucking video went haywire. From, from what it looks like now. From what it looks like now, it looks like the video is, uh. Up at 171 views and 11, 11 likes. That's honestly pretty crazy though, cause I never expected that video to be that good, but at the same time. But at the same time, yeah. But yeah, people, but yeah, I'm glad that people enjoyed that video. <laughs> if it wasn't for the copyright strike, I guarantee, I guarantee none of that would have happened, but I'm grateful that uh, the video gained a lot of love and support. I wasn't expect I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting it to be that good, be that big, but yeah. I did. <laughs> and speaking of figure review, tomorrow figure review is gonna be on Bill Genius. And I did promise, I did promise last week that I will do his video. I just took his pictures too. Don't worry. The figure will be reviewed tomorrow, <laughs> boy. I should I boy this one. This, I should have done this. I should have had done this since last year. But I was, I was burned out from, from like, for like doing reviews at times and taking pictures. Mostly because my old job was beating the crap out of me, unfortunately. And well, that affected it. But now, no, but now, now, I feel my, I feel my motivation is back. Not full force, but I feel like my motivation is back right now. For taking pictures, so that's good to hear. But yeah, tomorrow, fi tomorrow figure review is gonna be a Bill Genius. After one thousand years, he finally released another Bill video. Well, to be fair with you, I have like, fuck, how, how many figures of Bills do I have to review? Shit, yeah, Cross Magma. Damn it, I forgot about that figure. In in, in comics, fuck. I would do, I would do, uh, I would do Night Rogue, but nah, I accident, nah, that figure's, uh, well, that figure isn't the best, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see, who else do I have to review? Oh, uh, no, yeah, that's it, I did everyone else. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. I did Sparkling, I did Rabbit Tank, I did both Rogues, I did both of Comrade Rogues form, Prime Rogue and Base Rogue. I did Grease, I did Cross. Yeah, Cross, Magma, and Ninjin Comics are the only two I gotta review at the Genius. Fuck. <laughs> if you guys want those videos, support the support the Bill Genius video. Matter of fact, okay, fuck it, let's do this. If the Bill Genius video get around, let's say, okay, if the Bill Genius video get around, let's say, let's say 500 likes, 500 likes, around 24 hours then I will go <laughs> I will go do this summer plan on the cross magma video <laughs> if you guys want that again if you guys want the Ninin comics and cross magma reviews you gotta get the bill video up to 500 likes <laughs> that's the goal
But yeah. I'm just to be honest with you, right now I'm just waiting for I'm just waiting for my Shadow Moon figure. <laughs> Cause dude dude J Japanese Twitter, Japanese toy photographers on Twitter be taking a lot of good pictures with that figure. I'm like I'm over here saying, damn it, you look so good. I can't wait for mine. Because everyone knows that everyone knows like everyone knows that I'm like a a die I can't say die hard. I'm probably no, I'm, yeah. Everyone knows that I'm the number one biggest. I'm the number one Black Suns fan on Tokyo Twitter. And uh, seeing that figure, seeing people taking pictures of that figure, I'm getting jealous because I don't have mine. I probably I probably will get I probably will get mine next week, uh oh, or next month. I don't know because I know that Golden Week is happening in Japan, uh next week unfortunately, and I'm. And, and uh, because of that, I'm go because 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 of that holiday. Uh, shipping for like Japanese items, I'm gonna be on hold until May fifth. So that May, so that so that probably yeah, that's definitely gonna affect uh, that's definitely gonna affect it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> which is which is funny though, it sucks, but at the same time, to same time, make it's totally understandable. But yeah. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred. I heard something. But yeah, though. So, that's going to happen, unfortunately. But uh, yeah. I do have like a. I did. I did say that I have like a. A army army order coming. I said, no lie. I said, fucking do. So, I have like two options I can do. One, make it into a video. Or two, I could like I could live or two I can live stream it like I did with my with my big bear toy sword boxing. And yeah, that was the first time you stream labs. Not stream lab. Wait, what's it called stream labs? Fuck! Whatever the hell those call. <laughs> Excuse my language, but yet that was the first that, that was the first time I did like a a live stream. Well not the first time, but yeah, I live stream like face like like my face to you guys in a long time. And you guys enjoy that video, so yeah, so yeah, I'm still thinking about, I'm still thinking about how I wanted to go make that video. So yeah, but uh, but um, minus that, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, I have like, let's see, what's, let's see, what I'm supposed to, what am I supposed to be expecting very soon for like, for like. For like pre orders, okay. So, I'm expecting a Zaya Grand Prix jacket. I bought off to collectibles. Well, if Premium Bandai, but uh, I'm gonna guess that to collectibles is going to ship that with Shadow Moon, which I would be mad about if it became a two birds and one stone. Uh, I'm, I got I got my I got my giant ass Ami Ami monthly order take care of next week, and I mean. Next week of fucking hell, dude. That shit is that shit is fucking that shit is fucking big. I mean, big. Like, my goodness, the the, the fuck the the things that I bought in there. Boy, I'm gonna have fun. With the, I'm gonna have fun with those toys. No lie. A few of those figures that uh, I found are are rare. At the same time, I said, "Damn, I don't have this. I want this." So yeah. But but yeah, that's uh that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun in the slightest. Don't know what's going to happen after that. Actually, I do know what's happening after that. I'm gonna send my money because I'm going out of town. It's a t I'm going out of town in September. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, will you guys be down? Will you guys want? Will you guys like it if I do like a vlog type thing or no? Because be honest, with you. I'm not like the, okay, 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 it's kind of hard for me to say, but, uh, I'm okay showing my face off a of camera, but at the same time, there are moments that, there are moments that I feel awkward on camera, like, I don't know, see, when I'm, sh when I'm doing like a, a video, like a, when I'm doing like a video, I, I, I act like myself, 
But at the same time, there are other moments that uh, there are other moments that uh, I feel awkward. I feel awkward on camera, and I don't. I can't explain why. I don't know, but that. But that's that's just how I feel. That's just that's just how I felt though. So yeah. Well, to be fair, I am a, I am a handsome introvert. <laughs> That isn't a lie, unfortunately. I, I, I actually am an introvert. Why? Actually, here's why. I actually prefer, actually prefer to be alone. But let me explain. I'm not the biggest fan of loud of loud crowds. I just prefer being like in a quiet space where I can, well, hear my thoughts and relax. And uh, well. And well, that's basically what it is. Because, no lie, there are YouTubers that I watch that are introverts as me. I'm like, huh, I could, I could totally relate to them. YouTubers like, uh, shit, I can't, I can't believe I was fucking say this. <laughs> well, 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 they aren't watching, but, uh, YouTubers like, uh, Lily Pichu and, uh, Disguised Toast. They, I watch this stuff. I'm like, huh, huh, hmm. <laughs> I watch, I watch that content. Saying, damn, huh? They, they really, they really do, they really do like being alone. Most of these guys toast. I like his stuff because he even he even said himself that he even said himself in one of his videos that uh. That, uh, he's an introvert. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. He's a what? Holy crap! I can relate to that because I am too introvert. I prefer being alone as well. <laughs> like shit, no lie. I want a girlfriend one day. I do in the future. Well, this year I do. But at the same time, I just like I just like prefer I just like prefer being like in a in a quiet, non loud environment. But that's just me. I don't know, dude. It's just that's just life, I guess you could say. Not everyone gonna be the exact same for things. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a I'm a black guy with eight. I'm an introvert black guy with ADHD, who's who's also a fan of Japanese kid show. No, who also no who, who's also a fan of. Japanese culture in general, because my goodness. Oh, I didn't talk about this last episode. I, I was supposed to, but I forgot. But uh, I saw the Mario movie, Super Mario movie last week, last weekend. Oh boy. Okay. So I, I have my, I had enough time to get my thoughts in. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't perfect, no, but I enjoyed it. I like the references. I like the references to all Mario's media. Mario Kart, Mario Galaxy, Mario 64, I think you could say. Paper Mario. Uh, what else? Donkey Kong, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. <laughs> and uh yeah, Super Mario World as well. So many references to all Mario con Mario media in there. Pretty funny. Also, I love the fact how yet yeah, Mario is playing the Super Nintendo. I get, it makes sense since since this is since this is a Nintendo vi a Nintendo movie. But still, <laughs> I enjoyed it. So, why did you talk about Chris Pratt playing Mario? Honestly, I had my doubts first because I know Chris Pratt said that in an interview that he's not gonna do an Italian accent. And no, he actually didn't. But it felt like that, uh, it felt like to me that, uh, that he had, he had a little bit of a Brooklyn, a Brooklyn accent, slash Italian accent to Mario while speaking like full on American for, for, for his version of Mario. Toe was funny. Toe was the best character in the movie, in my opinion. I fucking love him. Neck to Bowser. Jack Black did a good job. I fucking love Jack Black. And the, and the song. Oh my goodness, the song. Peaches, peaches, peachy, peachy, peachy. 
the fucking song, the song that he was singing for simply for Peach in the movie. I'm like Bowser. This is the same princess you kidnapped all the Mario game, and yet you yet you're in love with her. Like no joke, no lie. Peach was Peach was cool, no. Peach was uh, Peach was cool, no. I, and she was cool in all the movie, but my goodness, my goodness, Bowser. And also, I love the fact that yeah, this version of Peach isn't a regular Peach. Nuh uh, this version of Princess Peach isn't a normal one from the, from the video games, because in the video games and other Mario Mia, she's just a she's just a fucking dumb Valley girl. This version of Peach in the movie has like well a character, it has well, well, well she's a kick well 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 she's a kick badass female protagonist you can say. So yeah, also also so this is my mom, but uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> when uh, Pete was in that uh, in her racer suit, I said, "Dang, Peach!" <laughs> and my mom gave me a look. <laughs> I'm like, "Mom, don't look at me." <laughs> no joke. They made Princess Peach into. At least I wasn't. At least, at least I wasn't watching the Japanese dub of the movie. Cause my goodness, Princess Peach sounded like a fucking milf in there, fucking milf in there. And that isn't a bad thing, by the way. <laughs> because my goodness. Okay, okay. I probably should have said it like that. I'm getting canceled. God damn it. Well, it's good. Well, it was fun to last the guy. I'm getting canceled. Not kidding. Not kidding. Not kidding. L l let me rephrase that. And it, it's a good thing it wasn't. It's a good thing it wasn't watching the Japanese dub because in the Japanese dub, Peach felt Peach's voice actress, Peach's voice in the Japanese dub, sound like a fucking milf. <laughs> I want to watch the Japanese dub for for more reason. One, Mario Luigi are voiced by Ultraman Z and Ultraman Z. Also, Mario's voice actor is fucking Yagami. Fuck fucking light from Death Note slash Ultraman Zero. No joke, he actually is. And Luigi voiced by well Ultraman Z, and I'm like fuck, I want to watch that. I love Ultraman Z, my favorite Ultraman show, and well, I fucking want to see this. Unfortunately, I don't have a fucking ticket to Japan right now to go watch. I would watch it, no lie, but no, nah, I, don't, I don't have a ticket on me. But yeah, I, I, but yeah, that, fuck man, I wish there was an option over here in America to watch, watch, watch a certain movie in different languages, like, no joke, I, I would love to watch any like Marvel movie or any like movie in general in Japanese because of how familiar voices I can, how many tokusatsu and anime voice actor actors I can hear in Japanese saying, "Oh, hey, wait a minute, I recognize, I recognize that voice." They put that one character, that one uh, show I know. I wish there was an option over there, but nah, but nah, it's not over here, unfortunately. That sucks. Except for like anime move, except for like anime movies, and oh well. Shin and Ultra, Shin Ultraman, but that's it. So yeah, that's uh. So yeah, that's so yeah, that's so yeah, that's uh, that's yeah, that's it. <laughs> I can't. Moving off of that, I enjoy uh, moving moving off of that. My my overall thoughts is I enjoyed the Mario movie. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Not perfect, but I thought it was pretty good. Now I got now I got fucking Bowser's damn song stuck in my head. Peachy, 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 peachy. I need someone to make a fucking fan art of me singing that. But no, replace Princess Peach with fucking Jasmine or Sena from Decker Ranger or Kira Major. No, fuck it. Replace that with replace that. Replace Bowser with me in the fan art, and replace Peach with Jasmine from Decker Ranger. 
because god damn it that's basically that that's basically my that's basically my best way to describe how I feel about that woman. <laughs> oh god Fuck Jasmine, I love you girl, you know that. God damn it. Uh yeah yeah. Oh, I wanna say this. So I made a treat today on Twitter telling Twitter I made a treat today on Twitter asking Twitter to stop Putting fucking Asian girls on bikini on my damn timeline. Because my goodness, I'm getting tired of that shit. Listen, in my defense for saying that tree, I have a limit for that. If the actress is around, like, let's say, my age. Or around, like, around, around like, age. Around, around like, beyond a, 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 If the actress is around, like, let's say... If the actor is around like age twenty, you know, beyond that, that's fine, fair. But like, I don't want. But yeah, I need Twitter to stop recommending me Asian girls who are like under age because I don't want to see that. And it's fucking disgusting. Not gonna lie. And this and this go for the this go for the token community as well because I get it, okay. The age, I get it, okay. Asian girls are attractive and all that. Like, no joke, okay. No joke. I like me. I like me and my Asian girls, <laughs> but uh, this but uh, I don't want to say like underage one on my Twitter account, like on my Twitter timeline, because that's just gross and weird. Because, please, please, if you have, please, if if you if please like please, let's just just please stop, just please stop Twitter, that's just getting gross. It's bad enough that uh. It's bad enough that there are people out there who are retreating porn every day on Twitter. I don't want to see that. It's coming from. Is it coming from me? And just that's just a that's just like that now. I say like this. Don't I say like this? If the actress is around like twenty or beyond, then uh, that's then 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 uh, that's fine. Then that's fine for you. Have like, that finally for you have like a crush on her for how attractive, how attractive she is. But the but don't be a fucking creep on Twitter by quote treating them saying, Oh hee <laughs> hee, look at their body, their bodies are hot. I want to bang them like no, don't do that, don't say that. Get out Twitter, get some help. Because buddy, you're being a creep towards these actress, and that's disgusting. We all know what happened to Pato. Pato Pink's actress from Pato from Lupin for the Pato Ranger. I also don't know what happened. Her actress the her actress disabled her comic section on her Instagram because of how because, because of how people are being ho- freaking disgusting and horny for her. Which is totally which which is totally disgusting by the way, and no one should be doing that. And this is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. Me. This is kind of for me, who doesn't, who, who don't even like, well, Pastor Pink's character, but harassing her actress just because how attractive she is. You guys are fucking weird and gross, scared of life. And it's just, it's just totally messed up and unacceptable, unacceptable. Because women should not be ejected for being objects just for men's needs. <laughs> God, I'm not a fucking, I'm not a damn feminist, but even I, even, even I have to call this shit out. Women should not be ejected for for men to be used. Just saying, and men should not be men should men should not be ejected for women to use as well. Just saying, it's like this. Let's treat both. Let's treat all gender the exact same treatment as they want to have, want want to get, or be whatever. Let's treat all the genders the exact same, with the exact same treatment. Because well, I wish people, I wish people really, I wish people really do, I really do if people really do treat like that. But unfortunately, no one does. <sighs> Damn, that sucks. It even breaks my heart. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? But uh, yeah. Like no lie, I can't lie by saying that uh 
my this whole fucking week, I've been seeing a lot of random weird shit on Twitter. So you guys know, okay, why am I talking about this? A couple of days ago, I quote tweet. I I was at work when I saw this video. Luckily, luckily I did not play the audio. Thank God I didn't. You guys know that uh, the, you guys know that Japan has a a karaoke bar. We can say. I can can I say this? Well, I'm not monetized or anything, but okay. Japan has a karaoke bar that uh that gives you pleasure. We can say. And I found out a little. I found a little interesting fact about this place. So apparently, uh, the actress that plays here in Ruth's sister in GoBusters, she was the host of this one event, this this one karaoke event. That what part of the video that I was well just talking about right now, and uh, when I found out, I was like, wait, what? Wait what? I my friend told me my friend told me like wait what? And I, I, and I lost all and, and I had like and I had like no silence but no silence. I had like no words to say. Japan really has a karaoke bar just for you to get pleasure. What the fuck, dude? My God, fucking Japan! I'm gonna go on rant here. Yeah, God damn it! Here we go. I love Japan. No offense to all my Japanese viewers. I I, I like Japan. I do. I want to go there. I want to go there and enjoy the culture and experience of it. But I can't lie by saying how uh, it, Japan's just fucking weird, dude. Like, don't get me wrong. America's don't get don't get me wrong. We're America's weird as well because there are a lot of fucked up things over here that are no no, just like in Japan. Just like in Japan, and I can't talk about I can't talk about that much about Japan because, fourthly, I don't live there. I've never been there, so I can't talk about, talk, talk that much about it. But I, but I could talk about I could talk about the things that are well, that are, are big fat no for me. Like the age, like the fuck, like the rule, of, like the age of consent over there. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, to be fair, at least they bumped up, but still, <laughs> not just that. <laughs> she just fucking cry. Don't 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 go to like any weird sides of, don't go like to any weird alleys in Japan. I'm trying to say that are that are unlike comfortable, are and that aren't trustworthy. So that's all I'm gonna say. But uh, yeah, Japan. Uh, I I will go to Japan. That place gonna that place gonna be fun. Your boy would be going to Akihabara one of these days. <laughs> What's in Akihabara? It's basically a big otaku. It's basically a big place for like fucking otaku shit. Mind you, I down there. Ami Ami. Fuck yeah, I need to go to Ami Ami because well, going there, going there in store, going there in like store, like in person instead of buying shit online, <laughs> save me a lot of money. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, though that's yeah, though, that's fun. I mean, I'm gonna be, I mean, I'm gonna be a fun place for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna have fun. I mean, I Well, that, well, that's gonna be fun. Let's see what else. No, that's it. I mean, I'm gonna be a fun place for me. Woo! Yeah, dab on these. But uh, I want to talk about. I'm sorry that it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that. Ah, damn. I'm sorry this episode felt like very short. I just don't have. Just don't have. Don't, don't have like that much to talk about. It's just like well, there isn't much. Oh yeah, fuck, damn it. That's right. This to talk about. Uh, let's talk about King Oger and Jeet. I forgot about those two shows. <laughs> let's talk about Jeet. My goodness, last episode. I did not like it. I did not like the last episode. My boy, my son, Kawa, he got fucking eliminated again. <sighs> and 
Buffa eliminated him. I really don't like Buffa. My goodness. And I want to say, I want to talk, I want to defend his character for saying this. People on Twitter, on Tokyo Twitter, are really hating Buffa's character now because of what happened last episode. Listen, Buffa, Michigata, Michigata isn't my favorite G writer. Oh, hell no. Well, no. Well, duck, he isn't. He. He is one of my least, he is one of my he is, he has one of my favorite suits in the show yes but he's one of my least favorite characters in the show as well but uh he isn't a bad character my issue my issue with Buffer's character right now is that Takahashi this is Takahashi's first time writing for a character writing for like a commercial that that that's like a battle royale. Yes, you can say X A is another example you can use. That is that show also that show also has like a battle royale type style. But Michigata but Buffa like fucking arrogant reminds me so much of fucking heroes from X A. I don't like that. I don't like Hero's character X A because his character wasn't the wasn't the best written in the show. Fight me. And it felt like that uh, I'm watching like a modern version of Yuki and Guy, and like I love Ren's character in Yuki. He's definitely my favorite character in the show, no joke. And, and uh, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Buffer just being an emo prick right now, but to be fair, Ren is an emo prick. No. The the emo prick would take it go to fucking uh Oja, but at the same time Oja just a maniac. Then we got Gaim, and people are saying, oh, oh, Buffett is basically way up version of Baron. I don't see that. While Baron has the exact same motivation as Ren from Yuki. Let's be honest, they both fucking do. Buffett's character, it Buffett's. But Buffa does give off the freaking Baron vibe to me, yes, but I don't, but I don't, but I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's, uh, well, Baron 2.0. He just reminds me of fucking Jin from Zero One. And I say that because Jin was a, Jin was like an emo boy in the beginning of Zero One, a child, until he grew up and matured. That's basically Buffa character in my eyes. And I like Jin, no joke. He wasn't one he was a flawed character in Zero One, but yet again he, but yet I can't say again. But yet he had he had like he has like one of my favorite suits in the show. I love Brain Falcon. I like I like it more than Flying Falcon. Flying Falcon was alright, but Brain Falcon, the red and black, damn it, that fucking suit that fucking suit sexy as hell. And don't get me started on the fight scene he had with Dowser. My goodness, damn that that fight scene was so aw, oh, aw oh, man. Mwah, mwah. That was some good fight steak right there. <laughs> I love zero one fight scene. Moving on. Mo moving on. Uh, Buffett's character just feel like Takahashi just wanted to make his own version of Yuki because. My goodness, I know. I'm gonna guess that. I'm gonna guess that Takahashi's a big fan of Yuki or Battle Royale shows. But uh, Buffett's character is just him, just him being emo right now, saying, "Ha, I'm gonna destroy every comrade because I got kicked out of the Zai Grand Prix." You didn't get kicked out, you fucker. You sacrificed yourself for Ace against the first game master who kicked. And uh, now that that not now at that you came back from not being dead, you're well. You're well. Well, you're now like I'm going to destroy all the common riders now. Like what the fuck is this 180 for your for his damn arc? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? We're not even done. With, we're not even done with GT yet. But damn. <sighs> ay ay ay. I could go on and on why I don't like Buffa's character, but I think I'm going to wait until, like, I do my G special review for, for, uh, for, for G, for, for my podcast, because fuck's sake. 
if you guys think my revise episode was going to be controversial, my goodness, wait for the Jeets one. <laughs> but those that don't know what I'm talking about, I have a podcast episode talking about me. I, I, sorry, let me try again. Sorry. I have a podcast episode. I have a podcast episode of me talking about, uh, G- talking about Revive, talk, talk about the good, the bad, the pros and cons of it, and, uh, that episode was probably my most favorite episode I made for how much I was ranting and why I did not, like, why I did not, like, take the show with my cup of tea. Go watch the episode, pretty good. It, <laughs> but yeah. Buffett's character to me, he's just ah uh, fuck. It feel like Takahashi just it feel like Takahashi had no idea what the hell he want to do with him right now, and that's just yeah. Anji, just feel like that. It just feel like it just feel like that. Ah, damn. It just feel like that. Like uh, like it just feel like that. Uh, all the villains right now in Jeets aren't doing aren't that good in my opinion. Been a beauty thing and then was I just can't stand her. She's just she's fine. She's alright. Not I'm not trying to say fine like in a s no I'm gonna no, I'm gonna show up. She's fine, she's whatever, okay? But she's kinda mad because like Takahashi because she just give up she just give she just give up a freaking Azu vibe. But to be fair, Azu's more horny for the arc and annoying. Be the bill over here, I think I'm saying her name fucking wrong, goddamn. Bootleg Azu, okay? Bootleg Azu over here is just annoying as fuck. I'm like, can this woman just shut the fuck up for one second? My goodness. And, and her and her exposing Nago's past really pissed me off. Oh my God, that woman, like, and I love Neon. She, she's my second favorite kid in the show, but my goodness. But my goodness, that this is just. Again, if you want to hear, if, if you want to hear my thoughts about how I felt about Revive as a whole, I have a whole podcast episode talking about it. You can go watch it for yourself. So let's talk about Jeets. Not Jeets, King Oja. Fuck yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. First off, just to get around the way, my goodness, Rockless is a fucking hater. My no 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 joke. My fucking god, Raculous is fucking Dio from JoJo Bizarre Adventure. This this motherfucker just basically hates his own brother just for shits and giggles. Now you know he might have a reason why, but my goodness, he just a hater. So last episode, Gia Gia, man say. Gia or Gia, fuck. Why is fucking name it a Red Ranger? He he got a new mech, and I uh, he couldn't control it, and I uh, the mech was attacking the King Oja mech, but we but we found out that that King Oja mech wasn't the real one; it was actually fake. And uh, well, let's just say that uh, after that, our Red Ranger is now back being fugitive. And I mean that for real; he he's back for being a fugitive. In uh, that same episode, the villains, the villain, the villains really tried to kidnap the new Mac, and they failed badly. <laughs> but yet, but yet, for the subplot, our fucking blue and yellow Ranger were argu- were, were arguing, are arguing about about who's gonna fix all the mechs. Funny shit ever. Funny shit ever. But next episode is gonna be uh next next episode is gonna be funny. Well, for me recording this episode, I, I have not watched the next episode of Jesus King Ultra, so that's what I meant by next episode. But yeah, 
Miraculous is a fucking hater. I love him. Okay, I fucking love him. God damn it. I made a tweet last I made a tweet last week saying the haters of fiction of fiction that I know. I know. Me, just me only. And that tree and that tree was blasting. Still 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 blown out the video. Still blown up right now. And I put for pictures. Frieza. Uh Unger Ruckus, Stink Meter. <laughs> uh, DL and Regulus. Fucking goddamn. <laughs> Listen, you wanna know? You, you wanna know? You want? You wanna know? They all have a, all have a comment. They're all racist motherfuckers. <laughs> no joke. Regulus would be the type of guy who will say the N word, and yeah, yeah, everyone would be like, <gasps> like, damn, didn't think racist said didn't didn't think racist said the N word. <laughs> he really just said the N word. Regulus would, be, Regulus would be the type of guy that would say the N-word. He would say the N-word, and I get no fucks about it. And that's the sad thing about it, because he totally was. Regulus would be the type of guy that would say the N-word, no joke, in King Oja. <laughs> he would call his brother the N-word. <laughs> I'm like, damn, okay, he didn't, he didn't call him that. He's a hater. And my, I love what they did in the last episode of King Oja by, by uh, by cutting off, by by cutting off his uh henshin. I love that shit. I love that shit. Man was, man was put man man was walking up to man walking in front of his tower, getting his getting his change getting his sword to henshin into into his sexy gray suit, and uh and uh. It, then the, then the show cuts off. Then the show cuts cuts off with that and play the preview for next episode. I love that. I love that. That was perfect. That was actually a perfect scene to end the episode. I love that one hundred percent. But yeah, next episode is basically gonna be our Red Ranger fighting his hater brother. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just gonna call regular the fucking Dio of two Dio Tokusatsu. God damn it! Listen, listen. You have, you have your reverse flash. You have your freeze eyes. You have your fucking Dio. You have your stink meter. But my lord, Reckless is a type of Reckless. It's worse than all of them. Listen. Add reverse flash. Reckless. 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 We have fucking Dio, freeze us, stink meter. <laughs> Maybe Uncle Rocky. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, Uncle Rocky says, well. And yeah. Uh, yeah, you get yeah you get you get the group you get a group of six hating ass niggas. you get a group of six hating as niggas. Uh excuse my language. W hating for no reason. And dude they will be hating us up. Matter of fact, matter of fact, fuck it. Add Makoto from Abba Kill Add Makoto from Abba Ranger, cause that that motherfucker's a hater as well. He's a hater, alright, but he's a different type of hater in my eyes. He just he just doesn't give a fuck to be honest, which is why I like him. <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> but yeah, uh, they and uh, yeah. Oh damn, yeah, I'm gonna end now. I'm going to bed. Fuck. I'll, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my socials, follow all my social media in the description, and uh, yeah. My name is Aaron, and uh, I'm out. Enjoy my enjoy this episode, and a uh, new video will come out tomorrow for my new. The, build, the, the gene video will come out tomorrow, I'm going to say. And uh, yeah, have a nice night. Bye. <laughs>